What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Player X. And the Galone Wolf. And we together are Semi-Limited Podcasts. We like to thank you guys for joining us this evening, this morning, this afternoon, whatever uh, time you guys decide to pop us on and listen to us ramble for X amount of time about stupid topics. Yep, whenever you are, we thank you. So before we start, quick shout out to our sponsors. So shout outs to Unplug Gaming in Manlius, New York. Be sure to check out their Discord server in the description below. I'll make sure to provide a link to it. They have new Yu-Gi-Oh, new Pokemon, new One Piece, the hot new sensation from Bandai, new Digimon. Uh, whatever you guys want, I'm pretty sure they got it in stock. So make sure to go see Joe down over at Unplug Gaming in Manlius to get in on the new TCGs. Tell them the... Uh... Semi limited boys sent you. <laughs> also, shout out to Bubble Up Car Wash because you know they they need a shout we're out. Back. They need a shout out. They're back. We're back, baby. We're, we're back. <laughs> we're back. In we it. got them. <laughs> we fucking got them. Fuck you, Delta. Fuck you. <laughs> we will also be doing a giveaway again for the guys listening. Uh, the next giveaway will be given away at 50 Instagram followers. We will start the next giveaway. Five zero. Five zero. That's right. Make sure to go, go click follow. It's a free entry. Just go click the follow button. Yep. You guys can go to the link tree link down below to find out how to follow us and enter the giveaway. Newsflash, it's a fucking click. That's how you follow us, by the way. That's right. It's down below. But another shout out to our sister slash brother podcast, uh, Heart of the Podcast. We are joined by one of their members today. So shout outs to them for letting us uh, have George again. He's back. So George, we'd like to introduce yourself. He's back. Plug yourself in. Here. So it's George from uh, Heart of the Podcast. Um, you can follow us on every social media platform at Heart of the Podcast. We're on YouTube, Spotify, uh, Apple Music. I love your guys' new logo, by the way. That's oh yeah, very sick. Bro. Oh, we appreciate that. Oh, my, that's my boy. Uh, Just Joseph, my boy Joe. Yeah. yeah. My boy joked because he was the one that that drew it out. And he's a real gangster. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm sure Joe's appreciate me. <laughs> appreciate hearing that. In the, in the, 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 this, when this comes out. Yeah, dude. That was. He's always he's always complaining about uh, podcasts aren't long enough. He loves hearing you guys. I know. I agree. I agree. Although today's episode isn't going to be crazy crazy long, I do typically thoroughly enjoy longer forty five minute to hour long podcasts. Yeah, we're just bums. That's our problem, you know. Yeah, we're just uh, we're we're a little bit of bums today. We were just doing a lot of uh, play testing for the new format with a couple of uh, buddies of ours and our locals. So shout outs to Matt, another uh, decorated locals player. So he was uh, giving us some pointers. He showed me doing it. Yeah, he was giving us some pointers and showing us well, more or less Dylan how to play branded in this next format. Uh, so. What am I gonna say? I've been playing a little too much One Piece, okay? <laughs> I'm, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm fucking... trying to pick up the good old two piece. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh Jesus! We just wanted to talk to you guys about the three v three YCS that just happened. Uh, th- there wasn't any televised events on the Mexico City YCS, so we weren't able to do that last week. But we were able to bring you guys the one from Leon. But this past weekend, we did the 3v3 in Vegas, and it was crazy. I haven't seen a 3v3 stream before, so it was kind of cool like, to see how they were going to be able to like tackle all three players playing at once. And they kind of did a really good job of it, I think. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you guys watched the stream or just watched clips of the games afterwards, but I watched the stream almost all of day one and periodically after Locals, throughout Locals, day two. Yeah, I watched a little bit of it, uh, actually via you because you had it going up in the discord and i got out and tuned in and just in time for uh the labyrinth player to scoop it up <laughs> so that's what i saw of it Way exactly too... exactly that's yeah, all yeah, yeah yeah all right we got to see your deck uh take some top in there so that's pretty cool to see yeah yeah they did really well uh, george did you uh watch the ycs or did you just watch uh some replays afterwards i'll be honest i only watch clips I watched a couple of clips here and there. Um, I was almost certain that Kestir was going to dominate. And I think that... I don't want to say I was wrong. Uh, but I wasn't on the money. I thought it was going to be uh, like a full Kestir at top 16. Um, Ooh. But they they did their thing, though. I'm not going to lie. They did their thing. But 
I always say the OCG never translates um, directly, you know, the same way into the TCG. Correct. And I think I this 3v3 proved it. But I will also say this. The meta is not defined yet. And I was really glad to see some decks that you thought were dead come back and actually, like, make top 16. Cut. Yeah, still compete. Yep. I agree. I mean, Sprite was still around. There was definitely Sword Soul in the room. That those decks got in the top cut, they squeaked a couple in there. There was Pack and mm-hmm. yeah, Ange- uh, Cody Angelov and Shuping's team. They all played Naturia, the Shizu still. So like, still trying to make these Shizu cards work. And there was a kind of a rule. They played the Runic cards as well. But you know, there are definitely other decks that were there. Shannon Long, shout out to Shannon Long. Also, he was playing uh, Marincess that made top 16 which is to me was just like mind-blowing no marine says definitely yeah shannon long was definitely playing marine says i remember our group talking about that earlier wow uh, yeah there was definitely a bunch of different decks wow. in the room for sure so like to say that it's of diverse yeah it is good I, I think it's very healthy i was gonna say yeah it's good to see that's that's good to see though i like that the top eight of the ycs did kind of show us what yeah. a lot of the meta should look like stepping forward if you can look at the breakdown at the uh, pie chart it was 11 cash tiras seven branded decks four labyrinth mm-hmm. players one sword soul and one sprite player all in the top eight decks which would be 24 players because there's three so and that's thing i think that's pretty that's pretty well spread i mean you don't see a single tier elements player it's so unlike the ocg where they were still trying to cram tier elements and whatever they could just to keep it going but i think people kind of like fell back off of it and embraced picking up a new deck yeah i think you're right it was it's again back to my point the ocg never translate well i don't want to say never but not it, it doesn't normally translate into the tcg and i feel like some players feel like because the deck is good in the ocg it's going to be good in the tcg also and um i think that this 3v3 proved that that's not the case because we, we're you're right we, we're not seeing any tier elements um mm-hmm. in the top eight right we're seeing things like labyrinth which i know that uh joseph is <laughs> extremely excited about because he picked that up he calls it the better eldritch i myself an eldritch <laughs> player disrespectfully disagree that's blasphemy blasphemy <laughs> yeah and all hail the golden lord but <laughs> but it's good to see decks like that up there sword soul also being represented up there after like being put i think people put away their sword soul stuff thought like it wasn't going to ever see any play because you know they most people thought that um cash tira and tears were still gonna move moving forward were gonna be tier zero or tier one and i think that i think right now it's the healthiest that the tcg has been since the release of like full power tears yeah yeah i can almost agree with that uh it, it it well represented like you said good trap amount uh i i i was kind of expecting uh tier to be gone a little bit because in the last podcast i said why would you play the wounded fusion deck when there's a better fusion deck out there and that's branded i don't know about all that I don't know. About to, uh, it. It's still a good. It's 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 a it's a it's a Whoa, very good. Hey, it's a very what? good. Deck. <laughs> what? You're telling me wounded tier is not. Better I'm not saying wounded tier is better than branded. I'm just saying, I've seen not even wounded tier, bro. That's fucking. The hunter shot the deer, and it is 12 miles gone, been bleeding out every step of the oh. way, and fucking hurt. That's some real upstate New York analogy. <laughs> that right i'm just saying <laughs> that right there that's what the brain has, is. has his weaknesses like any <laughs> other deck but that's not to say that Kashira doesn't have weaknesses because Kashira, i'll do mm-hmm. i don't even think can be in contention to be a tier zero deck because it is too weak to too many things to replace what the impact yeah, of absolutely. tier elements had i think that Cash Tira, although their their gimmick is very very strong, it, it can't do the exact same things that Tier Elements did. Tier Elements was really good at playing with you, alongside you, running that race and that marathon with you, and then out outrunning you, outsourcing you. So I just don't think that we're doing that oh, with of the, the same Hell with yeah. this. Well, yeah, yeah, they could play through a Dark Ruler. You know what I mean? Can can you play through a Dark Ruler and then some? Absolutely not. 
Only when I have Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking sh- all right. Yeah, we're we're the the spice. Yeah, thing. that's right. That's just that's just for Matt. Oh yeah, well, we were talking about that earlier. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. I mean, Tier is just so good at just being. You wing it in the shoulder, and then it comes back harder at you. Yeah, absolutely. I just don't think that Kashira has the strength. Because, like, boom, one oh, Wolf Eclipse, one business. Dark Ruler. You know, there wasn't... I don't think of one good card that Tier Elements fell to, with the exception of, like, Evenly Matched, which is a side deck card. D-Shifter. Okay. D-Shifter was... Well, you could still... With the exception... Yeah, I'll give him that. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Correct. Yeah, we yeah. can still do that. No, no. That's fair. But they can still put up a board. But Guska Pass is still something. You know what I'm saying? It may not be everything, but that's a board. It's very, very subpar, very simplistic, yeah. but it's a board. No, of course. I'm talking about activate a card I have lost. A Book of Eclipse does that on Cash Tira. A fucking Talents Take. A Tasking for a Change of Heart. A, a Dark Ruler No More. Like, there's just a lot that the deck just naturally will fall to. You mean thrusting? <laughs> yeah, thrusting. <laughs> You're right. I'm never going to call it thrusting. That's you got to thrust pause. your opponent. No, you got to thrust huh. and be like, I'm, thr- I'm, I'm thrusting, thrusting into, into you. Thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm thrusting into you. Thrust Just response. Give a little, oh, Wait, what thrust? Anything else? <laughs> no, but it's about it. I mean, but this is a lot that the deck loses to. So inherently, it is a strong deck, and if you know what your opponents are on, or if you're able to uh, maneuver certain decks, it rewards the player for being smart. Mm-hmm. But my overall opinion, I think, stands strong. The deck will reward good players for playing really well. But it's a it's a deck that is very very relentless if you misplay or make a mistake because you are just there's just no safety net well, for it. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with you. X. I feel like the deck is you can misplay and still end on a crazy board. Granted, your opponent doesn't have the responses to it. I see where you're coming from. I mean, uh, we were playing Devon and he picked up the deck for the first time and he just started going off and he he had a decent board there. This is, you know, kitchen table Yu-Gi-Oh, so. Uh, best kind of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, well, I'm not saying the helmet's, the helmet's definitely there for the deck. I'm just saying with a high floor comes a high ceiling. I see, yeah, I see what you mean. It rewards players. So let's, let's, let's take, for example, when we were just practicing a minute ago, and I used the double Shangri-La Diablosis play to lock out your entire back row. That loses to a Fallen Albaz. You know what I'm saying? Like, Fallen Albaz rips my card. That gets to Mirror Jade. Mirror Jade rips the other one. Now you've got all your zones back and spell cards can all get played. That was all through Monster Effect. So what I'm saying is, like, there are inherent outs that the deck just... A, a tier elements player's got Solius. They've got Crime. They've got Metanoise. They've got uh, Pelerino to pop. They've got, you know, they've got a, a lot of other things. Well, you know, I, I was just about to bring this up, too. But you guys have a long time. You're fresh. You're the new kids on the block. Who's to say that Konami's not going to reward you guys? Like how they mm-hmm. award yeah, branded yeah. with every card under the sun. And how they gave Tier Element every card under the sun. You know what I mean? And Moon. Okay, those fuckers got everything. Well, I think that it's more... In in your lore, it was more about you guys. About Albaz and, you know, and, and Aluber. Whereas in our lore, it's more about Visa and just his interactions with these counterparts. So our, the interactions don't last that long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, his space sex and all that stuff. Yeah, exactly. So I think we get, I think two more cards in uh, Cyberstorm Access, if I'm not mistaken. And one of them is bullshit. So, well, I mean, to counterdict that, I mean, Tyr got a lot of shit, man. And that's, it's in the same stepping stones of, of the lore. It's also, so, I mean, I don't think they're done. Also, you know what I mean? Like, you could get, like, two two good spell and traps coming out, you know, down honestly, the road. I think we need more monsters. You know, it, it's also to the, like, you have to draw the out, five head. Well, that could happen, too. You could hit, you know, if, if you set up, like, a fucking crazy board and you're <laughs> you're locking out all my zones or the majority <laughs> of my zones, if I don't have the out, then I'm not playing. I'm literally not playing. Well, that's what I'm saying. As far as, like, uh, you have this knowledge. Like, a, a bad player will maybe lock out the front row game one, whereas... The smart move would be to lock off the back row in case they're main decking evenly, main decking uh, Book of mm-hmm. Eclipse. That way they don't get a chance to, to play on your board. They have to, you, have, you just have to deal with the monsters. Right. Whereas a bad player, mm-hmm. yeah, some people might commit to 
the lock all five zones out and and lose to the nib because they don't know how to read whether their opponent has a nib or not. If I see an Ash Blossom or an Imperm, I'm definitely full sending because they don't have the nib. They just save everything for the nib. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't have any negates. So you can just definitely tell a good player versus a bad player when playing the deck. That's all I wanted to say is like it will reward good players and they will be they will make the deck look easy. Whereas a guy who's just picked a deck up and tries to play it will stumble through and forget to banish the right card, summon the right monster at the right time. You know what I'm saying? Like there might end up a sub. I just like board. to say there's no such thing as a bad player, just an inexperienced. No, they're bad players. Because exactly. we have we have a whole bunch of bad players at our locals. You better shut the fuck up. <laughs> and y'all niggas know who y'all is, all right? Don't make me list y'all. Ooh. <laughs> that's rough that is rough we have a few bad players you got bad players at your locals we have we have new players at our local hey nah, he, gets that, he gets it be real it. be real <laughs> nah we nah, have new nah. players be at real. Our local. say what your motherfucking nah, chest nah, nah, nah. we got, nah, we nah. Have, he's you got nah, players he's you got, got players nah. you can sit across he's, and be like this nigga's a buy no he's got this nigga's a buy free wits so let's do it listen He's got new players that have just been playing for 12 years. That's the thing. That's all it is. <laughs> That's it, bro. Fuck that, dog. Fuck that. <laughs> That's rough, bro. That's rough. Saying like, okay, yeah, I got the buy. It's over. <laughs> But it's also but it's not rough. That's that's on them. Yeah, I mean, for them. And ten percent say that that is on the player. If I sit across from you and I have the mentality of, oh, you are the free win. Yeah, dog. Is that's on you because you don't put in enough effort, or I feel as though you don't know your decks or your interactions, or I just know more about the game and, and oh. your deck almost than you do. If you're reading your own cards, <laughs> yeah, boss, it's a dub. It's a dub. You know what I'm saying? Really? Because I beat you all the time when I read my cards. Like no, that. you don't. You just go into time and then you super poly. That's what you. That's the one card you you oh, oh, you use player. reading cards that is to the stall for take. time. No, right? oh, that is the yes. hottest take. All I've right, ever heard. that's not the hottest take. Right. Ask everyone else you draw with that fucking locals. Only guy I know that, who draws three fucking that, times at locals. That's not me. That's, that's you and that's Jake. Me. That's you and Jake. No, don't even compare. Oh, that's me. Yeah, I'm comparing both of you. Jake will abuse time in fucking top cut when it goes to turns Bro, like a motherfucker. I don't know the last time I went into time. I don't With know you and me, motherfucker. It was definitely we had ten seconds left, and you were like, "Oh yeah, mm, swing, swing." I'm like, "All right, yeah, cool. All right, time no. got called." Then you're like, "Yeah, super poly." I'm like, "Oh, okay, all right, cool. Yeah." Oh, that's rough. It was it was a little bit cheekier than that because you just got a little excited and you you jumped the gun. And that was a whole different knowledge. game, Dylan. <laughs> the, whole, the whole different game, Dylan. <laughs> what am I supposed to play into it? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. But there are such things as bad players, dog. You know what I'm saying? But there are people who are table 500 by round three. That those are the bad players I'm talking about. Ooh. And that's just where they live. It's okay. Whether they're at your locals or at a regional. Doing win a mad set round three, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want, I just call them the uh, the currency. They're, they're just they're just the economy people, Ooh. you know. They, oh my god! They just they just help fuel things. They keep Konami's wallet going. Listen, and to those people, thank you for liking and subscribing to this podcast. Okay, that's right, exactly. Thank you for hearing me. I'm not gonna lie. When I went to YCS Niagara, I was living at Table 500. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying you're a bad player, but I'm just saying you could stand to get better. But I might be saying you're a bad player. Ooh. Now I just FTK everybody. <laughs> FTK. As Ooh, soon as I hear the FTK. words FTK, I think table 500. Nah. Oh, dog, yes. Uh -uh. No, dude. Oh, there was an FTK I brought to, I think it was a Philly. I think it was a YCS, man. And I can't tell you the disgust on all the people that also traveled hundreds of miles to be there just to get FTK'd and like round three and just ruin their whole fucking day you love to see it I, 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 people this isn't even fucking Yu-Gi-Oh, man it's like oh are you having fun bro are you really having yeah, fun it's like yes, yes I, Dude, I trolled so hard that event me and my boy scott we even this is when dinos were also great we wore jurassic park shirts and the, you know like the fucking jurassic park oh exploring hat and they're like oh s s playing dinos huh and i'm just like mm, you know fucking maybe maybe <laughs> just fucking ftk him <laughs> Oh, it was the trolliest yeah. move ever, dude. This nigga. The trolliest thing I ever did. I think. I think I. I well, no, not I think. I know I went to a regionals uh, back in 2019. I was playing Exodia Mystic Mind. Oh. And this is when um, uh, Orcus, Sky Striker, Salads. What, what was that format called again? Eternal Format. Eternal Toss Format. Toss format. Yes. Toss. That, that's what I was thinking about it all weekend. I was like, what the fuck was that format called? Anyway, um, I was playing this Orcus player. 
right? And I guess he, he just had no back row removal. And it was a wrap for him. I too owed him. Um, Exodia both times. He was so pissed. He was like, yo, you probably don't even know how to play the game, bro. Like, why did you even come with this deck? I'm like, I do. I know how to draw Exodia. <laughs> You're like, man. That's all yeah, I mean, learned. Exodia, it's over. It's literally over. Exodia effect? <laughs> My daddy left me with these Exodia cards. <laughs> My daddy only left me with the left arm and the right leg. I had to grind for the rest. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I mean, but like that just goes to show that there's other decks in the format that can do well. So that's why I'm saying I don't think that Cash Tira will be tier zero. I Absolutely. I think that other good decks stand a chance in the format. Like there's not just Cash Tira. As you can see, there's Branded. There's a lot of Branded. There's things like Ninja. You know, shout outs to Jesse Cotton. Shout outs to Devon if he's listening. Oh, yeah. Because he just came back out of retirement, and instead of playing Dragon Link like we all thought he would, the man just switched up and just said Ninja was the way. So yeah, he's so. Brett Farvin, dude. He's definitely Brett Farvin right now. <laughs> out and in. he came off the bench, signing off for another year. <laughs> he's he's back, baby. Yeah, but there's things like Ninja, Tyria, Runic, uh, Sprite still popping. For some reason, I don't even know why. That's just all sorry copium, if you ask me. Yeah, that bro, that took me kind of by by surprise, to be honest with yeah, you. I think that the labyrinth players yeah. were just carrying him, dog. There's I think there's no people like I think there's people like you that just can't give it up, man, and they want to take their electric warriors. Yeah. One more ride. Hey, I gave that shit the fuck up. The second that I saw Elf on that list, I went through the five stages. <laughs> I got mad. You started blaming, blame. I started parting with myself, thinking that cards like boot fucking jinky and fucking cards like some summoner and summoner would fucking like make up compensate for, for L. We are, yeah. And it fucking doesn't, dog. I thought a side frame gamma. I th bro, I yeah. was on Elf is one of a kind. I was on the, the copious amounts of copium, dog. But eventually I agreed and said to myself, all right, all right. this shit is dead. Move on. Yeah. Cash tier is the new wave. Commit. You know what I'm saying? But some people don't want to let shit die. I think that's a trait that Yu-Gi-Oh! players share with a lot of other things. Like, they just don't like letting old shit that they love or nostalgia shit that they like just die out. Like, dog, stop trying to play fucking Sky Striker. Like Sky Striker. Yeah, bro. I was about to say that done. shit. It's fucking done, dog. It's stop. Your underage bitch is <laughs> Yo, let fucking let stop, dog. Like, this shit is dead. Like, please, like tier, I'm so glad there are no tier elements players. Like, stop, dog. The shit is dead. Stop. Like, I wish Sprite players would just get the fucking message. Bro, some of them are hurting bad. Like, Brendan, he's he's hurting. He, he's a lost puppy. Yeah, a lot of our locals are just kind of, like, deck hold right now. He doesn't know what to play. Yeah. Well, where did he go from? Dino Wrestler? I was on the same thing after uh, Flunderese got hit. Nah, I was like, I don't know what to do anymore. Oh, yeah. Flunderese players took a hit, too. Yeah. Yeah, I took a long, hard look at myself in the mirror. And then I said, go back to what you know. Don't let Yu-Gi-Oh players have fun. Sorry, playing. And then he began to monkey flip. I, I started FTKing people. Just straight <laughs> FTK. Oh my god. I went back home. I went back to the fallen. Uh, uh, you know. You put that fallen bitch down. That's where I was before. Yeah. No. This man. This man <laughs> said fucking Morphtronic FTK. I, I guess. Yeah. That was the it. That was that, that was the only thing that that made sense. <laughs> so. I, 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 <laughs> That was so my, real. That was the logos. answer. Right now. That was the. Answer. You're not. Put, you're playing around. You didn't really play that deck. No, I swear to God, I did. I played it last Sunday. Oh my! Oh like, my! FTK everybody. Literally hey, FTK everybody. Nobody. Had oh to know what they were my doing. God! All right, guys, that's the podcast. We are running out of time. <laughs> this man, this man really no, man, brought it's, FTK. It's lethal, bro. It's lethal. People don't expect. What was your it. record? What was your record? I was, I two owed the first person, two owed the second person. I only went into time. Bro, he wasn't even. Round. He wasn't even losing. He he was just. This is two owing. Literally two owing people because. Bro, these are all right. First off, the first two rounds of any tournament is is easy to two owe. Uh, but as uh, you go higher up, you place yeah, yeah. better people I, I, I and better. Going deaths. into time in round three because was, my opponent was new. And they were still reading out their cards, and he might have slow played me, but it's all right though. He's new. I gave it, you know, gave him the benefit of the doubt. I was, I, I had the game in the back, and it was whatever. We went into time. It's all good. I still placed top three. 
Um, yeah, man. But yo, people don't expect it. People are still not preparing enough for like. Uh, they don't think they think board breakers imperm. are better than hand traps. Fucking imperm, imperm. But what are you imperming? Ash blossom. What are you imperming? Imperming that the level one. At what imperm. point? I don't know. Exactly. I'm just gonna exactly. You're gonna hit the imperm at the wrong point, and I'm just gonna keep Bro, going. Bro, shifter. Fucking shifter, dog. Over. Who's playing shifter, shifter now? Is, I'm playing shifter, dog. I know you are. I'm, 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 it's exactly so. I'm gonna not get too old yeah. by the fucking right, FTK we're, 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 because you're not looping shit. We can play, Shifter. we can play afterwards, and then I'll let you, I'll, I'll uh, FTK you a few times. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll <laughs> see on the next episode yeah. of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> find out on the next episode. <laughs> fucking huge guitar. No, but it's, it's fucking hilarious, bro. Setting up that FTK, it's like everybody's like, okay, yep, all right, yep. Okay, then I'm like uh, Zelantis, <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, uh, "Burning you, burning you." Okay, uh, <laughs> cannon soldier. Okay, uh, telephone effect. Okay, roll a dice. I gain X amount of life points. Cannon soldier, five hundred. They're like, "Okay," and they're still not understanding what's going on. They don't understand it until like maybe twenty three hundred <laughs> life points are like, left, and you're like, "How are you?" Oh, oh, this? okay, I get this. How are you still doing yeah. this? And I'm like, you're I'm gonna like, continue. You're like, oh, I'm losing. I'm gonna oh, continue to do this until like <laughs> life points Oh, I'm are losing back. this turn. And then they're calling a judge. They're like, can he do this? Then he was like, yes, he can. Like, yes, no, he can doing it. De declare how many times you're gonna do it. Because at one point I was like, this is just like a loop that I'm just gonna keep on doing. I was and just gonna ask. Was like, did you did you ask it? Did you ask me like, can we just call it? Or did you? Did yeah, you I asked, and they were like. I don't know if this legal. Can we call a judge? I was like, yeah, of course. And then the judge was like, um, you have to declare how many times you're gonna do it. And then I was like, I'm gonna do it 20 times. You're gonna be done for, and I'm gonna have a shit ton of life points. And then the like the look on their faces were like, still like not fully understanding that they're in an FTK. And then they look over to their boy. They're like, I didn't even get a turn to play. I was like, well, what? <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. The first time I got FTK'd, it was at a bigger tournament. It was one of my first ones. And I made that motherfucker do it every time. I made him do it. I was just so mad. I'm like, well. But I could have scooped. He could have scooped and then took a smoke break. But I made him do it. I was just spiteful. Yeah. Well, luckily, nobody that. made me do it over and over. Because <laughs> you're right. Because somebody could mess up. And they're like, right, that's, you know, that's the end of it. Yeah, <laughs> not for this one though. I I I know that like combo like the back of my head, but yeah, man, it's uh I don't know what I'm gonna play. Like I know like that's what I play for fun, and it's a it's a it's a fun deck to play because and end of the day it's still Tri Brigade, right? Um, it's Tri Brigade is not like uh, it's I don't think it's meta by like at all at all i don't even think it's like tier two it might be like rogue at the very best but i can play like a fuck ton of hand traps and when i side out all like the um fdk stuff like i have a whole bunch of like room in my deck to like play cards to counteract whatever i'm gonna play against you know what i mean if i get the, that go first then it's almost certainly it's almost certain that i'm gonna ftk I, i'm i'm gonna cut out like at least five minutes of this because i feel as though we should not dedicate 10 minutes to a conversation about ftks <laughs> like <laughs> like where that doesn't even sound healthy like we're really just sitting here talking about ftks it's healthy and this man is preaching the game needs it it's healthy, healthy. It's healthy. The game needs it oh my yeah, god yeah we've been in man this the game needs it, X. You know the game needs it. The game needs some yeah, kind of toxicity to make the I, game healthy. <laughs> this man just says, yo, rub dirt in the wound, dog. Eventually, it's going to either heal or die. <laughs> what are the other? You're either your cutting the arm off or you're going to yes. survive and become <laughs> super strong, dog. This one or the mother. Hey, your deck just got hit. Your deck just got hit and you're hurting. Here, let me FTK. Yeah, right that ass. Here. It's all right. I got Here you, you go. baby. You gotta look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, uh, Batman said her best. Either you die a hero or, or live, live long enough to become a villain. <laughs> and that was my turning point once 
My barrier statue got hit because of Castillo. this man said, fuck it. I can't barrier lock you. I can't plug you out. I'm just going to win. Steve just licking his lip. That's it. Full makeup of Joker. So I'm taking it from you. Konami wouldn't let me play, so I ain't letting your ass play. You had the opportunity to play. Konami took that from you. All right, guys. I think we are running out of life points, though. So we are going to close out today's episode. <laughs> we just got FTK'd by George of, <laughs> of Heart of the Podcast. Oh my God. <laughs> we're, we're scooping and we're going to uh, immediately to the side deck to put our ship. Yeah, in. you are, because this is the first turn kill. <laughs> <laughs> Macro's coming out, boys. Uh, you know what, guys? We're just going to go to game two here. All right. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, one more time, guys. Uh, thanks again for joining us, uh, George. But uh, don't forget to check out all the links below. Uh, don't forget to check out Unplug Gaming. Don't forget to wash your car if you're in the upstate area. Bubble up car wash, naturally. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I will link everyone's plugs down below. Shout out to Heart of the Podcast. I'll have their uh, links down below as well. And uh, we'll be sure to have the rest of the crew on. Thank you guys for having me on. I know. He's just not shooting in the gym. But, uh, yep. So, like I said, guys, once again, a reminder, 50 Instagram followers. We'll be giving away something for you guys. It's definitely going to be interesting because we want to give something back to you guys. That's going to be nice. And be on the lookout for the merch that's coming up. So, that's all I got. I am Player X. <laughs> uh, joined by the Galone Wolf. And we are Semi-Limited Podcast. Yes. Yes. Cue the Kaiba music. <laughs> <laughs>